Hi everyone, and here's a review on the Pile, and this is the Audio Mixer PMX 44T, as in Thomas. Um, just got this mixer yesterday, and I've had a number of mixers over the years that I've ordered, and this is the lightest, I dare call it cheapest, but it's very very, for lack of a better word, plasticky. It weighs about less than a half a pound in my hand. Uh, when I took it out of the box, I was like, wow, this thing is very, very flimsy, I'd have to say. But for the price that I paid here on Amazon, uh, and as you can see, I last purchased it just a couple days ago uh, as I'm making this video today, you know, for what you get for the money, I think it's pretty decent. And it works very well. And really what I wanted it for is the small footprint. I have a pretty big desk here for audio mixing and different projects. And uh, I wanted this mixer primarily because it's about eight inches square, I want to say, thereabouts, eight and a half maybe. Um, it's very compact, so I can put it on the corner of my desk, just make videos, podcasts, things like that. In fact, I'm using it to make this video. It's going into OBS, and um, I'm recording this video on OBS, so uh, let me take you a little closer in. I'll cover myself up here just for a minute and give you some of the finer points of this mixer. Now I was a little confused with it because I only got one USB cable and then a wall plug similar to what you would get with a tablet. Okay, so that plugs in behind the unit and I plugged the wall adapter into the wall and then the USB into that, and then powering it through um, my 110 volt here in the US, if you're listening from the United States, my regular household current. Okay, then I needed to go from here, if you can see on the video where I'm pointing with the uh, arrow, and I needed to go into my USB hub because I'm recording this on a Mac Mini. It's an M1, so it's practically brand new as well. And a lot of these M1s are getting a bad name because there's not a lot of peripherals that work with the unit. So this seems to work pretty well. I haven't had any issues since plugging it in, basically. And I go from up top here and I plug it into a USB hub that I have connected to the Mac Mini. So as you can see, it works very well for me here in recording this video. And I have a uh, Heil mic going into the mixer. It's into this line one, which will handle either a uh, standard mic connector or a uh, guitar jack, quarter-inch microphone in, something like that. Uh, and then you have some spots over here for actual guitar jacked items if you wanted to run them in here. Or, you know, you could run keyboards in here as well onto this mixer. You can do a lot of things with this. Um, I would be concerned a little bit about the longevity of this unit. Like I said, I've ordered many mixers over the years and this is by and far the smallest, most plastic <laughs> thing that I've ever ordered. So uh, if I get a year out of this, I think I'll be happy. I was going to get one of the uh, podcast mixers. Um, maybe one of the, the premier ones. And um, let me see if I can search that up on the web real quick. 
for you. Um, the Zoom podcast mixer I was thinking about. The P8, possibly. And if you can see this one here, uh, it's quite a bit more expensive than the pile. And, you know, I'm a podcaster primarily. I use, I have a site called BaseballTalkRadio.com, which I do. And this mixer seemed to be one that I was leaning towards before I bought the pile. It's got some pads here that run uh, different music and sound effects. And you see you've got your six inputs here. And it's all color coordinated, and it's probably a lot heavier unit for five hundred dollars. I think it's a little bit overpriced, though, in my book for right now. I think I would wait for a while for it to go down in price. Although it is nice. I mean, I can't argue with that. Um, didn't want to drop 500 on it though. I just invested in a lot of other equipment. And uh, one of the good things about this one, to digress from my uh, pile PMX44T review, is that you have a dedicated call in channel on here. So if you're used to uh, interviewing people on the phone, you can just plug your phone into this unit and it's going to, or you could do wirelessly over Bluetooth. And if you do the hardwired version, it's got the mix minus audio set up in it right away. So you just plug it in and away you go. So that is the Zoom podcast podcasting mixer so to speak didn't go there this time uh, I went over to the pile website let's look at that for a second and I was struck by this uh, no product image here about the same price as it is on Amazon and I've heard this mixer being much lower priced and that that kind of would make sense with the exterior shell of this mixer it's almost I want to say like the lightest the lightest piece of electronic uh, mixing equipment I've ever lifted up. It's uh, literally very cheaply constructed, I want to say, but evidently it's got the uh, items inside to, uh, to make it sound good because that's what you're listening to right now. So um, they do have manuals and downloads on this. And there's a number of features you can do with this. I've just scratched the surface. Literally just took it out of the box last night. Uh, let's look over some of the features just for the benefit of this review. It's a six-channel audio mixer with built-in USB interface. Uh, and that's what I'm using. Um, that built-in USB interface can either connect this mixer to a hub or directly into your Mac Mini if you're using... Uh, Mac equipment, and you can record right to it from there. Uh, or you could record everything you're doing on the mixer on a USB stick. So it's got some interesting uh, capabilities to it here. And uh, you can even play MP3s from a USB stick, and it would uh, play into the mixer for you. Um, here's some of the other goodies that it has on it. If you're watching this video, hopefully you can see uh, what it says here. Two um, RCA stereo inputs. Very cool. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of functions that this... Uh, has that I haven't even scratched the surface with, like I said. So stay tuned to this channel. I may have another review of this. And I just listened to somebody's review where the guy had 
tin foil all wrapped underneath of his mixer. You know, that's the kind of kind of stupid reviews you get on YouTube. So don't always listen to those wacky type reviews that uh, people put up. And uh, when you look at, if you find that video, if you just search PMX 44T, you'll see the guy and it just, you know, you get a sense that he has no clue of what's going on. So he probably had this on top of a microwave oven or something when he was trying to make a podcast or uh, a recording on it because, you know, he's got it all wrapped in <laughs> aluminum foil. It's kind of kind of funny, actually. But a real bad review on his part, I think. Uh, so here's some reviews. Speaking of reviews, right on the Pile website. And, of course, they're going to put... All the good ones. There's no one-star reviews here. There's ten five-star reviews. So take that as it may. But um, I kind of like it so far. I, I don't have a, a gripe with it. Let's check out the manuals and support whatever's available for it. And didn't come with... came with a small booklet inside, and that's probably right here. Yeah, that's the booklet that came inside the user manual with this unit here. Like I said, for the money, for 60 bucks, you, a few years ago you couldn't buy a mixer for 60 bucks. If you did, uh, you know, leave it in the comments down below, but uh, you get a lot, a lot for your money for this, you know, somewhat reasonably priced. I don't want to call it cheap, but it, it works well for me. All right, well, I hope you liked this review on the Pile PMX44T. Leave me a comment down below, or please hit subscribe to the channel. That's more important. I'll have a whole lot more reviews, podcasting tips, audio tips, things like that. So... Thanks for listening, everyone, and I look forward to uh, talking with you soon.